Impeachment under the Constitution is the thermonuclear weapon of interbranch friction. And where there is something like a rifle or a bazooka at the House's disposal to address some friction with the executive branch, that is the next step. It is incrementalism in the Constitution, not jumping straight to impeachment that is the solution. If the House could jump straight to impeachment, that would alter the relationship between the branches. It would suggest that the House could make itself superior over the executive. Dangle the threat of impeachment over any demand for information made to the executive. That's contrary to the framers plan. Madison explained that where the executive and the legislative branches come into conflict, this is in Federalist 49, he said, quote, neither of them, it is evident, can pretend to an exclusive or superior right of settling the boundaries between their respective powers, end quote. But that is exactly what the House managers have asserted in this case. They have said that the House becomes supreme, there's no need for them to go to court, the executive must be wrong, any resistance to their subpoena is obstruction. If you claim that our subpoena is invalid, we don't have to do anything to address that concern. We will just impeach you because resistance is obstruction of Congress. And the House Committee even put it this way in their report, um, the Judiciary Committee, they said that the House itself, they effectively have said that the House is the judge of its own powers because what they said was, quote, the Constitution gives the House the final word, end quote. That's on page 154 of the House Judiciary Committee report. And what that is essentially saying, they point to the fact that Article I, Section 2 gives the House the sole power of impeachment. And they claim that because it's the sole power of impeachment, the courts have no role, the House is the final word, it's the judge of its own powers. But that's contrary to the constitutional design. There is no power that is unchecked in the Constitution. The sole power of impeachment given to the House simply means that that power is given solely to the House, not anywhere else. The Constitution does not say that the power of impeachment is the paramount power that makes all other constitutional rights and privileges and prerogatives of the other branches fall away. The framers recognized that there could be partisan impeachments. There could be impeachments for the wrong reasons and they did not strip the executive branch of any of its means for protecting its own sphere of authority, its own prerogatives under the Constitution. Those principles of executive privilege, those immunities still survive, even in the context of impeachment. The power of impeachment is not like the House can simply flip a switch and say, now we're in impeachment, and they have constitutional kryptonite that makes the powers of the executive eliminated. So when there are these conflicts, even in the context of an impeachment inquiry, the executive can continue to assert its privileges and prerogatives under the Constitution, and indeed it must, in order to protect the institutional interests of the office of the presidency and to preserve the proper balance between the branches under the Constitution.